So, uh, a judge has ordered the NYPD to change their stop and frisk policy, which has been very controversial. Rick Leventhal joins us now live in our New York newsroom with this breaking news. So, Rick, what happened and what did they say? Well, Martha, that ruling by the federal judge, a major defeat, at least for now, for the nation's largest police department, which has long defended its stop and frisk policy as a perfectly legal tool to keep New Yorkers safer on the streets. At least a quarter million people have been stopped by police since 2004 using this controversial policy that allows allows officers to detain, search, and question pretty much anyone they want. Critics say minorities were unfairly targeted, with blacks or Hispanics stopped in four of every five cases. That sparked a class action lawsuit. And today, U.S. District Court Judge Shira Scheindlin found that stop and frisk is an unconstitutional violation of the Fourth and Fourteenth Amendment rights of New Yorkers. This angered the mayor. Stop, question, frisk which the Supreme Court of the United States has found to be constitutional, is an important part of that record of success. It has taken some 8,000 guns off the streets over the past decade and some 80,000 other weapons. As guns continue to flow onto our streets from other states, we have to take every constitutionally protected step at our disposal to keep them out. The mayor obviously opposing the judge's decision, and so does Police Commissioner Ray Kelly, who called it disturbing and offensive. We do not engage in racial profiling. It is prohibited by law. It is prohibited by our own regulations. Well, the city will appeal the judge's decision, which ordered an independent monitor be brought in to oversee changes at the NYPD. That could be on hold while this appeal takes place. Rick, thank you. I do